In the face of adversity, the Bible offers us a wellspring of strength, comfort, and hope. It's a timeless source of wisdom that has guided people through countless trials and tribulations for centuries. Let's explore some powerful verses and real-life stories that exemplify the resilience and faith that can help us conquer adversity. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let's take a look at the life of Nick Vujicic. Nick Vujicic's life is a testament to the incredible power of faith, determination, and the unwavering human spirit. Born without limbs due to a rare condition called Tetraamelia syndrome, Nick faced challenges that would seem insurmountable to most. However, he defied the odds, proving that the human spirit can triumph over even the most daunting obstacles. From a young age, Nick was confronted with the harsh reality of his physical condition. Yet, he refused to let it define him. With the unwavering support of his family and his unshakable faith in Christ, Nick embarked on a journey of self-discovery and resilience. It was this faith that became the cornerstone of his life. Through his belief in Christ, Nick found the wellspring of inner strength. He discovered that his purpose extended far beyond his physical limitations. Instead of dwelling on what he lacked, he focused on what he could give to the world. Nick's story resonates with millions, because it's not just about survival, it's about thriving. He transformed his own life experiences into a powerful message of hope and inspiration. Nick became a motivational speaker, traveling the world to share his story and philosophy. His words touched hearts and ignited a spark of determination in countless others facing adversity. As a motivational speaker, Nick emphasized the importance of faith, self-belief, and the ability to adapt to life's challenges. He taught that the true measure of a person's strength lies not in their physical capabilities, but in their resilience and determination. Nick's message was simple yet profound, no matter the circumstances, one can find purpose, meaning, and happiness in life. His story illustrates that faith and determination can break down the barriers that society often places before us. Nick Vujicic's life serves as a shining example of the human capacity to rise above limitations. Through his faith, unwavering determination, and message of hope, he continues to inspire countless individuals to embrace life's challenges and transform them into opportunities for growth and fulfillment. Nick's journey reminds us all that, with the right mindset, anything is possible. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Cory Ten Boom, a remarkable woman known for her unwavering faith, courage, and compassion, left an indelible mark on history through her actions during one of the darkest periods of the 20th century. Her life story is a testament to the power of faith, love, and resilience in the face of adversity. Let's explore the life of Cory Ten Boom, a hero of the Holocaust and a beacon of hope during troubled times. Cornelia Arnold de Johanna Ten Boom, affectionately known as Corrie, was born on April 15, 1892, in Haarlem, Netherlands. She was the youngest child of Casper and Cornelia Ten Boom, who ran a watchmaking and repair shop in Haarlem. The Ten Boom family was deeply religious and adhered to the Dutch Reformed Church, instilling strong Christian values in their children. Cory grew up in a loving and close-knit family, alongside her siblings Willem, Betsy, Noli, and Flip. Their home was a place of refuge for those in need, and their faith motivated them to help others. The outbreak of World War II would change Cory Ten Boom's life forever. As the Nazi occupation of the Netherlands intensified, the Ten Boom family decided to turn their home into a hiding place for Jews and members of the Dutch resistance. Their secret room behind a false wall became a sanctuary for those seeking refuge from the horrors of the Holocaust. The family's work was not without risks. In 1944, they were betrayed and arrested by the Gestapo. Cory, her father Casper, her sister Betsy, and other family members were imprisoned for their acts of resistance. Casper Ten Boom died shortly after his arrest, but his legacy of love and compassion continued to inspire Corey and her surviving family members. 
Corey and Betsy were transferred to several concentration camps, including Ravensbrück in Germany. Despite the deplorable conditions, hunger, and abuse they endured, Corey and Betsy's faith remained unshaken. They ministered to their fellow prisoners, sharing hope and love in the darkest of places. Betsy tragically passed away in Ravensbrück, but Corey's spirit endured. In December 1944, due to a clerical error, she was released from the concentration camp, a miraculous turn of events that saved her life. After the war, Corey returned to the Netherlands, determined to continue her work of spreading the message of forgiveness and reconciliation. She established a rehabilitation center for concentration camp survivors and other war victims, helping them rebuild their lives. In 1947, Corey published her autobiography, The Hiding Place, which recounted her family's experiences during the war and their commitment to their faith. The book became an international bestseller and inspired countless readers with its message of hope and forgiveness. Corey's later years were dedicated to traveling the world as a public speaker, sharing her experiences and message of forgiveness. She visited over 60 countries, spreading the belief that no matter the circumstances, forgiveness was the key to healing and reconciliation. Corey Ten Boom's life serves as a reminder of the power of faith, love, and compassion in the face of unimaginable adversity. She received numerous honors and awards for her humanitarian work, including being recognized as one of the righteous among the nations by Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Memorial in Israel. Corey Ten Boom passed away on April 15, 1983, on her 91st birthday, but her legacy continues to inspire and touch the hearts of people around the world. Her story of faith, courage, and forgiveness remains a shining example of the indomitable human spirit. Corey Ten Boom's life is a testament to the enduring power of love, faith, and compassion. In the darkest hours of history, she and her family stood as beacons of hope, demonstrating that even in the face of unimaginable cruelty, the human spirit can triumph through acts of kindness and forgiveness. Corey's life story serves as an inspiration to us all, a reminder that even in the bleakest of times, there is a light that can never be extinguished. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Once upon a time, in a bustling city, lived a woman named Sarah. She was a single mother who had faced numerous hardships throughout her life. She had always been a devout Christian, finding solace and strength in her faith. Sarah had a favorite Bible verse that she held close to her heart, Romans 8 verse 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. One day, Sarah lost her job due to cutbacks at the company she worked for. She was devastated and worried about how she would provide for her young daughter, Emily. Bills were piling up, and the future looked uncertain. Sarah prayed fervently, holding onto her belief in God's plan. A few weeks later, as Sarah was searching for job opportunities, she met a kind-hearted woman named Lisa at a local coffee shop. They struck up a conversation, and Sarah learned that Lisa ran a non-profit organization that helped struggling families with financial support, job training, and childcare assistance. It turned out that Lisa was looking for someone to manage the organization's outreach programs. Sarah was not only offered the job, but also received support for her daughter's daycare needs. She had never imagined that losing her job would lead to such a meaningful opportunity. Through her new position, she was able to help countless families in need, just as she had once been. As Sarah reflected on her journey, she realized that God had indeed worked for her good in the midst of her difficulties. Her favorite scripture had come to life in a way she could have never anticipated. Through faith, resilience, and the kindness of others, Sarah's life had taken a turn for the better, demonstrating the truth of Romans 8 verse 28, Psalm 34 verses 17 to 18. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. There lived a deeply devout couple named Samuel and Loveth. Their lives were a testament to the unwavering faith they held in their hearts. They were known throughout the community for their acts of kindness, their compassion, 
and their steadfast belief in the Lord's love. Samuel and Loveth's love story was one that inspired others. They had met as teenagers, and from the moment their eyes locked across the crowded church hall, they knew that God had brought them together. Their love blossomed through the years, deepening with each passing day, and they eventually married in a joyous ceremony filled with hymns and prayers. Life was kind to them for many years, but one day, a dark cloud cast its shadow upon their lives. Loveth, the pillar of strength in their home, fell seriously ill. Her radiant smile faded, and her laughter grew silent as an unseen ailment gripped her body. Doctors were puzzled, unable to diagnose her condition, and hope seemed to wane with each passing day. Samuel, a man of unshakable faith, found himself at a crossroads. His heart ached as he watched his beloved Loveth suffer, and he turned to the Lord with an intensity he had never known. Night after night, he cried out in prayer, echoing the words of Psalm 34, 17-18, The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. In the midst of his prayers, Samuel felt the presence of the Lord enveloping him. He knew that God was with him, even in the depths of his despair. With newfound determination, he continued to care for Loveth, never losing faith that she would be healed. And then, a miracle unfolded. Loveth's condition began to improve, defying medical explanation. Doctors and specialists marveled at her recovery, calling it nothing short of divine intervention. Samuel and Loveth knew without a doubt that it was God's hand at work. Their story of faith, resilience, and the miraculous power of prayer spread like wildfire throughout Graceville. It became a source of inspiration for the entire community, encouraging believers to trust in the Lord's unfailing love. Samuel and Loveth's journey taught everyone that when you cry out to the Lord in your darkest moments, He listens. He delivers His faithful from all troubles, and He stands close to the brokenhearted, saving those who are crushed in spirit. Their enduring love, unshakable faith, and the miracle they had witnessed were a testament to the psalm they had clung to. Samuel and Loveth became living proof that God's love knows no bounds, and that in the face of adversity, faith can move mountains. Their story continues to inspire and motivate Christian believers, reminding them that with God, all things are possible, and that His love and grace are always present, even in the darkest of times. Philippians 4.19 But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Let's consider the inspiring testimony of George Muller on the miraculous provision of God. In a world where self-sufficiency and careful planning often take center stage, the life and ministry of George Muller stand as a testament to the miraculous provision of God. George Muller and his wife, Mary, dedicated their lives to caring for orphan children in the 19th century, relying solely on faith and prayer to meet the needs of these precious souls. Their journey is not only a compelling story, but an inspiring example for Christian believers today. George Muller was a man of deep faith, born in 1805 in Prussia. After a rebellious youth, he encountered a life-changing faith in Jesus Christ and became passionate about sharing the gospel. However, his calling took a remarkable turn when he and his wife, Mary, felt led by God to care for orphaned children. With no personal wealth and no financial support from any church or organization, George and Mary opened their first orphanage in Bristol, England, in 1836. This marked the beginning of a faith journey that would astound the world. What sets the Muller's ministry apart is their unwavering faith in God's provision. They made a conscious decision never to ask for financial help from anyone, instead relying solely on prayer and faith to meet the needs of the children under their care. Time and time again, God answered their prayers in miraculous ways. There were days when there was no food on the table, and George would gather the children to pray. Invariably, someone would arrive with a donation of food or money just in time to meet their needs. This happened so often that it became a common occurrence. One of the most remarkable aspects of George Muller's ministry is his meticulous record-keeping. He documented every prayer, every need, and every instance of God's provision. 
his journals and reports serve as a powerful testament to the faithfulness of God. Over the years, the orphanage expanded, caring for hundreds of children, and even during times of financial crisis or epidemics, God provided. Not only did they receive enough for their daily needs, but they also saw the construction of new orphanage buildings and the education of the children. Inspiration for Christian Believers The life and ministry of George Muller serve as an inspiration and encouragement to Christian believers today. His unwavering faith, radical dependence on God, and commitment to prayer remind us of the limitless possibilities when we trust in the Creator. George Muller and his wife Mary were known for their unwavering faith and dedication to caring for orphans in 19th century Bristol, England. One of the most remarkable stories of their faith and God's provision revolves around the miraculous provision of loaves of bread. In the early 1840s, the Mullers faced a dire situation. Their orphanage was home to hundreds of children, and they had no food to feed them. George and Mary, devout Christians, turned to prayer as their primary source of guidance and sustenance. They believed that God would provide for their needs, even in the most desperate times. One morning, with empty stomachs and no provisions in sight, George called the children together for their daily mealtime prayer. As they bowed their heads, he prayed earnestly, thanking God for his love and faithfulness. He prayed for food to fill the hungry bellies of the orphans, and he prayed with unwavering trust. As George finished his prayer, there was a knock at the door. A local baker stood there with a cart filled with fresh loaves of bread. The baker explained that he had been inexplicably compelled to bake bread throughout the night and felt led to deliver it to the Muller orphanage. Astonishingly, the amount of bread delivered was precisely enough to feed all the children. The Muller's faith had been rewarded in a miraculous way. They saw this event as a clear demonstration of God's providence and faithfulness. Throughout their ministry, similar instances of divine provision occurred, reaffirming their belief that God would always provide for the orphans under their care. George Muller's unwavering faith and reliance on prayer to meet the needs of the orphans left an indelible mark on the world. His story serves as a powerful testament to the belief that faith, prayer, and trust in a higher power can lead to miraculous outcomes, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. The story of the miraculous provision of bread continues to inspire and strengthen the faith of countless individuals today, reminding us of the power of unwavering trust in God's providence. Here are some key takeaways for believers from the life and ministry of George Muller. George Muller's life demonstrates that God is faithful to provide for those who trust Him. Even in the most challenging circumstances, He can be counted on. That Muller's reliance on prayer showcases the transformative power of prayer in our lives. Prayer is not just a religious ritual but a means of experiencing God's intervention. Muller's willingness to obey God's call despite the apparent lack of resources teaches us to step out in faith, knowing that God can do the impossible. The testimony of George Muller and his wife, Mary, is a remarkable chapter in Christian history. Their faith, prayer life, and unwavering commitment to caring for orphan children have left an indelible mark on believers worldwide. Their story challenges us to trust in God's miraculous provision, deepen our prayer lives, and step out in faith to fulfill God's call in our own lives. The legacy of George Muller continues to inspire generations of Christians to put their trust in the God who provides abundantly beyond all we can ask or imagine. Ephesians 3 verse 20 if you enjoyed this video kindly drop a comment and if you wish to see more, kindly hit the like button, share this video as you subscribe to this channel, Souls for Christ Media TV and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you stay updated. God bless you and thanks for watching.